Welcome back. Well, it is week for the asset classes and it is week for the rupee. In fact, the rupee has opened at a record low today at 82.2. It's currently worsened. It's depreciated further at around 82.4. And to put it into perspective, it's depreciated 10% this year. Lata is here to tell us more about the factors impacting the depreciating that rupee at this point. Lata. Well, no surprises that the rupee is under pressure. It's a double whammy. Uh, we have seen both crude prices and the dollar strength uh, pressuring. It usually doesn't move together. When the dollar strengthens, commodities weaken a bit. But uh, crude is rising for its own reasons because of output cuts announced by OPEC+. Plus. And that's, uh, uh, you know, a good 9%. If you looked at the October 2nd, you know, last week levels, uh, it was ruling at about 86 and change. And now at 94.20 uh, thereabouts per dollars per barrel, the uh, rise is substantial. The uh, other uh, uh, set of people who are buying are those who probably went short dollar anticipating that India will get included in the bond index and there will be dollar inflows. So those short dollar positions are also getting covered now that that inclusion is not coming. The big buyers, uh, dealers tell us over the past two days have been oil companies. The Reserve Bank is supplying dollars, but it is not trying to move the exchange rate. It's uh, apparently looking like supplying only where uh, the demand is or at the level the demand is. Uh, actually, the Reserve Bank would be happy with a gentle depreciation of the currency because the trade deficit, especially with China, is pretty wide. And uh, the Indian rupee has appreciated versus the yuan. So uh, uh, a depreciation would be welcome. What the Reserve Bank fears more is depreciation anticipation, not depreciation itself. Dealers are talking about 80 to 50 as possibly the next level where a defense may come and 83. But these are just wild guesses, you know. There is always that expectation in uh, uh, round numbers like 82 and a half or 83 where they expect the Reserve Bank will come and support. Uh, just a word on the bonds. The yields have gone up. They have been going up continuously for the past two or three days. Again, for the same reasons, anticipation of bo bond index inclusion not coming through. I mean, now it is confirmed. Uh, the dollar index, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, crude prices moving up. And finally, U.S. yields also moving up. So everything is pointing to higher yields. Seven and a half is higher than the highest point in September. Uh, the chances are that it can even go to 7.62, I mean, the 10-year yield, which was the highest we saw in June. Okay, thanks a lot, Lata, for that. Let's slip into a quick break. But when we come back, we will focus on Varric Engineering. Uh, there was a conference call that took place. The stock is still down about 9%.